Hey, in this video, you're going to learn about method delegation in Ruby. What is it? How to use it? And why is it useful? So I have this code example right here. It's two classes, the memory class and the computer class. Inside the computer class, we are creating a new memory. And in memory, we have this data array. And it has two methods, write and read, right? We want to write and read from the memory. But let's say that we only want to do this. We only, only want to have access to the memory through the computer. We don't want Direct act, we don't have direct access to the memory. We only write to memory through the computer. So right here I have my computer object. And now if I try to write to it, I have to, I try to call write Ruby into the computer. What happens is that we get this no method error. Why? Because there is no method write so it's right here undefined method write for computer so what that means is that we are missing this method right here ruby is looking for this method here not in memory but in computer so how do we fix this we fix this by doing method delegation so method delegation is just this we define a method with the method that we want to call, in this case, write. So let's do write. With the arguments that it needs, in this case, the data that we want to write to memory, data. And then, and then we do this. Memory, which is our memory object right here, dot write data. So this is, method delegation we're passing the method the request from the user into the memory and the memory handles it and the memory does the thing that it has to do it writes into data if i run this code again you can see that the error is gone and that means that we are good so the next thing is I want to read the data. So here we have the read method and this parameter is the index into the memory structure or the memory address, if you prefer. Since we only have one element, then we can fetch it, we can read it using the zero. So if I try this, we get a no method error but this time it says undefined method read for computer. So again, it's the same thing. Computer doesn't know anything about reading memory unless we write a delegator method. So that's read. What do we need? We need an index, right? So let's write our index and then we tell the memory to read that index. So these are our two delegator methods. And if I run this code again, you can see that it works. We write Ruby and then we read and we get Ruby back. So it's working, right? And we can also try with another index if you want. We get nil because there is nothing on memory address one. We only wrote to the first one. We only wrote once to memory. So that's why we get nil. Now let's go back to this. Is there another way to do this that doesn't involve that doesn't involve writing these methods? Is there some kind of shortcut that we can use? Just like we can do attribute accessor or attribute writer or attribute reader. Is there a shortcut like that? Yes, there is. Uh, it's called forwardable, forwardable. Like 
like this require for guardable now it's not enough to require it you also have to extend the class like this so you say extend for guardable what does this do well this adding the capabilities the features of forwardable into our class so that's why we need this line and then we want to do this def delegators the object we are delegating to and the actual methods so what is this well def stands for define we want to define delegators right and to what object in this case, that will be memory, right? We are working with the memory. Now the methods are read and write. And now we can delete these two methods that we wrote ourselves by hand. And it's going to work. And it's going to also take care of the parameters. So notice that before we had to say write takes this parameter read this takes this parameter and if for some reason this this changes in the memory class we also have to change this we have to update this right but if we use this def delegators method with the forwardable module it will take care of everything for you so let me show you that this is still working. Just like before, if I request uh, memory at memory address one or index one, we get nil because it's empty. If we request zero, we get Ruby again. So that's method delegation in Ruby. There's other ways to do this. For example, in Rails, there's a method called delegate that works very similar to this. And there's also another class called delegator that we delegate all methods to specific object instead of just a set of methods. But I like this one better because you can see exactly which methods you are passing on right you have more control like this that's method delegation for you i hope you found this video useful and interesting if you did please click the like button for me so i know that you like this video and to keep learning watch more of my videos subscribe to the channel now if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com I also have a book in there that you might find very helpful if you want to improve your Ruby skills the book is called Ruby Deep Dive and you can check it out if that's something that you are interested in thanks a lot for watching I will see you in the next video